Hi, welcome to Graphx. Today we're going to be talking about how to create insights and how to edit them and share them. So um, we're going to be working with this data set that you might already know. It's about coffee machine customers and we're trying to analyze them to do a customer segmentation. So some of the variables will be if they own a machine or not, the machine model, gender, last order date, last login, last basket amount, and among others, okay? So let's say that I find something really interesting, okay? Um, for example, maybe I'm interested in females, or let's do males. We always do females on videos. Let's do male and male that by um, Melody Chu. Okay, these people, which represents a 4% of the total. Um, and I'm gonna create an insight, okay? So I'll click here. I'm gonna show you again, this button here, create an insight and I'll, I'll create it. Male, Melody, Chu, all right? And that's it. Um, you can also create the insights from here. You can click on the variables and the three dots and then save as an insight or save an in as an insight. And you can also create insights from compare. Um, let's compare this segmentation that I've done in another of our videos. And same thing, click on the three dots and save as an insight. And exactly the same thing from trends. Let's just pick this as an example and you can click here and create an insight. So this will all go to the insight section here and we will be creating a report, let's say. So let's go and find our insight will be the last one here it is and you can click on this and edit whatever you want the size of the image you can put this here just move it around add a description edit the title um, you can do whatever you want I'm gonna just move this a little bit so you can see that you can keep adding text or you can keep adding charts or statistics Let's say I would be interested in loyalty points. Um, this is just an example. I'm saying this makes sense. But just for you to see that you can add stats here too or any other chart as uh, last less amount from my selection. Okay, just move it around and save it. Okay. And I'm going to show you the ones that they are at the top because they look a little bit better, so you can have a better idea of what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, this will be the insights. You can write as much as you want and just create your little presentation about the project. Um, and let's say that you find here an insight that one of your teammates created and you don't really know where it came from. So you can go and let's do, for example, mine. You can click here on this little button here and it will create directly the inside. It will directly take you to the point where the inside was created, if that makes sense, okay? Um, what else? Let's say that you want to recreate this project and not lose the insights, so you can do it here. Not in this case because this is an old project, but just keep in mind that you have your button here where you could just save your insights for the next time you use the same recipe and the same data set, okay? And about sharing your insights, you can do it in three ways. You can click on here on your image and just save it as an image. You can choose between dark background and transparent one. And you can do that individually for each, in, each image or you can export it as a PDF and it's going to export all of them. Or you can hit here on publish 
you can give it a title and then only show the areas that you're interested in sharing. For example, let's say this is for a client and you only want to share the insights area, but not the rest of the project. And then you can click on simplify or original version and obtain a public URL. Or let's say you want to share it all because it's just one of your teammates. Same thing, you just click on public URL and that's it. That person can access to your project and there's no need of having a graphics account. And um, that will be it for this video. Um, I hope that you find it useful. If you have any other questions, as always, just talk to us in here in the chat and we'll be happy to help. And that's that. Um, see you on our next video.